Hey guys, Ping on Nerd here. Um, <laughs> uh, second video today, nerding out about the Vertex Sock P sling bag. Um, yeah, I couldn't sleep well last night. I ended up like waking up like around 1.30 and just tossing and turning. So I decided to just get up and started working on it. And um, that was the first video <laughs> I posted this morning, but uh, uh, went back to sleep. I ended up taking a nap on the couch. And then uh, I guess um, it was a comment from Little Klondike Outdoors. He mentioned uh, Galco Fast fast Track or something like that. Um, little kind of bag or more like a fanny pack, but that, that was pretty interesting. And, and so I just kind of see if I could maybe replicate that. Um, so I basically have my P365XL in here. And then instead of trying to adjust for the red dot at the top I just it's easier to just have the 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 butt end kind of hanging out and you just have a paracord hanging out and then the the zipper pull I think if I were to ever do this you know I'm not I'm not gonna carry my weapon in this bag I just but um, if some of you have a smaller gun or if you are interested in maybe trying to use this kind of method, I would probably get like a, like a longer, you know, maybe paracord, make up a, a lanyard or something. Because uh, otherwise there's, it's too small and there's, there's, some, there's all these other poles that sometimes could get in the way. So I would make something larger and definitely easily you know, easy to grab and identify as <laughs> the one you need to pull. So just like the Galco fast track, you just open it up and then the whole idea is for this thing to, you know, you pull on the lanyard and, but we still have a problem with the, getting, clearing the, the, the butt. But, um, yeah, that was <laughs> what I was working on. Okay, here's the overhead view. Um, I have the metal clips that came with the bag installed and it's the span is too wide to fit within the uh, belt loops on my 511 strike pant. But the cool thing is on the front uh, belt loops, the 511 has like a, a loop um, kind of, I think it's for like bad, hanging badges or other credentials. So one of the the clips can go in, in there, so that, that works.
Uh, what I've discovered is maybe this bag, this uh, sock pee bag is just better for using the phone. Um, because even, even if you could get everything in there, like I had my IFAC in there, but that also was, you know, too, too big and everything was bulging out. And then the camera, it's hard to kind of keep the camera in place. So I think it's best to just use this for its intended purpose, which was to carry your phone, have the option to use your camera and then hold a few, you know, kind of EDC things. Kind, I think its intention is to just kind of give you a place to put things that you would normally carry in your pocket. You know, like you could put keys, maybe your wallet, you know, small things like that. And I think that's probably the best way to, <laughs> to utilize this bag. Um, but it's still still a great bag and I'm definitely going to try to work it into my rotation. But um yeah this this way I think it's easier to just compensate for the, the grip end and just keep the keep the red dot covered at the top. Another thing I've been working on was uh <laughs> my flexible hook pad for hook and loop. My problem is uh, I got too close with my X-Acto knife or the razor knife and I <laughs> ended up cutting off the top, but um, you can see how it works. So these are my 12 uh, popsicle kind of well, ice cream sticks. And then, so that gives me more flexibility. And then at the end, I just use two strips of Kydex because I. 12 wasn't enough <laughs> and I'm not going to eat any more ice cream. <laughs> so I just decided to just put two smaller strips of Kydex. That's some scraps that I had, but this thing flexes, you know, definitely flexes a lot more than my original one, which just, I, this is all these Kydex strips, but, um, my intention and then the reason why I wanted to make another one is just, I don't have to keep pulling this one on and off. And I'm going to just leave one and maybe just dedicate it, leave it in the car. And then the other one will be for my off body bags, either the Vertex, uh, tourist bag or the, my Oakley extractor bag. So maybe this, the newer one will be better for the P365. I mean the P320 because this one has this big hump here because of the gas pedal. So. And test it out. Oops. So the whole idea is to get it to kind of bend and form to whatever shape. So I think that'll work and this, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, that's all I got, uh, I think. Uh, let's see, what else? This is the holster for my P365XL and I've started rocking the large wedge plus the, <laughs> the medium wedge at the same time. Um, it's pretty comfortable and what I've noticed is over time the wedges will get compacted because I started with the small and then that became kind of too small and then I've been working the medium and that's gotten to the point where it's a little bit compacted enough and then now I'm working on the large but this one well let me <laughs> let me demonstrate it for you okay so I got my weapon back in two wedges, the large and the medium. Let's put this in here. This in my belt. Okay. 
and <laughs> pretty much you know disappears. You wouldn't, I don't think, I even notice anything. Um, I got all these holes in my t-shirt. <laughs> I think those of you who carry uh, inside the waistband appendix, you probably have similar issues. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I like it. Uh, um, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for indulging my insomnia induced <laughs> musings. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please uh, leave them below and thanks for watching.